Back here in Las Vegas at Sam's Town Live for PBC on Bounce. As we prepare for our next contest, we're here at Sam's Town Live for a big night of action. And here we see PBC on bounce. When it comes to, there is Oscar Bravo out of Santiago, Chile. As Oscar Bravo, they said he's been training for quite a while. When he got the call five or six weeks ago, they took it immediately. And as we will go ahead and look at the numbers when it comes to our co-feature, Sharif Bogari and Oscar Bravo. Austin, what stands out to you? Um, right now, Bogueri has the inch and a half advantage and the inch reach advantage. Um, other than that, that's the only advantages I see. Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, live on Bounce from Las Vegas, Nevada. Premier Boxing Champions now features 10 rounds in the junior welterweight division. Introducing first fighting out of the red corner, he comes in wearing the blue trunks. His professional record stands at 23 wins, 11 of those coming up by way of knockout. Opposite seven losses, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada by way of Santiago, Chile. Ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros presentando Oscar Bravo. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. He comes in wearing the black trim with the silver. As a professional, his record near perfect. 31 victories, 20 of those coming by way of knockout against one loss. Fighting out of right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sharif the Lion Bogari. Our referee in charge is Russell Mora. As we take a look at the rules for this matchup, 10-point must system. No standing ACOT, no three knockdown rule is in effect. Only the referee can stop the fight. The fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. And the fight is official after four rounds have been completed. Sharif Bulgari and Oscar Bravo. This one should be a thrilling affair because both guys have quite a wealth of experience between the two. Sharif Bulgari who has had some issues when it comes to his Achilles. He actually tore them twice. And now he says he's completely healthy and ready to make that next step. Yes, uh, he, he tore each Achilles once, <laughs> making a total of two Achilles tears. But, uh, you know, that's a rough injury to, to come back from, not just once, but twice. That's borderline Derrick Rose territory. My yeah. goodness, I mean, you never want to see that. But Sharif Bogari, who is a veteran, and you know all about Sharif Bogari. The thing is, with Bogari, 31 and 1, that is a fantastic record. But because he's been inactive, he is almost like this unknown and forgotten quantity. It's like he almost has to start all over at 31 and 1. Nice check hook. Bogari with his jab. When it came to Oscar Bravo, they were pretty adamant to us as to say that he is so aggressive, yeah. and they said that they were, they, Stop. how they look at him, no, no. it's almost like a Marcos Maidana type. And if he's even one half of Marcos Maidana, then we're in for a, a heck of a matchup here. I, I have a feeling that these guys' styles are gonna match up there well go. for the fans tonight. Stop! Don't back there, don't punch back there. Russell Moto, the referee in charge, telling and warning Russell Moto about punching behind the head. And a nice jab followed by a right hand. Well, great, double left hook upstairs. Well, he, he's painting the jab and coming over with the hook and it's, it's landed a couple of times. In fact, there is a red mark on the right eye of, of Oscar Bravo. Well, Bogari is, he's very calculated. His right. has, he has outstanding placement on his punches. 
The thing about Bogarie that I'm missing is is the lion. Go, head. let him go. If Stop. You've never watched him fight. He comes in with this this Don't pull him down. lion's head that he's came in for years. And um, the, the funny story about that lion is that lion actually killed a few people in his village, and so wow. he got it skinned and he placed the head over his head and, and used it as as this. I mean, it's a big story. Well, they said it was stolen. Yeah. Okay. Dewan Blake told us his one of his handlers that it was stolen. Wow. So for Oscar Bravo, he actually, they sparred with Bulgari about a month prior to this fight. They did not know who their set opponent was. So they trained out of the Mayweather Boxing Club and they were sparring under 10 seconds to go. We'll get into the story more as we head towards the second round as they both tie up. Let go. And there we see Sharif Bulgari and Oscar Bravo in round one. As we take a look for Oscar Bravo, the last time he fought 525 days, lost to Saul Rodriguez by split decision. That was in California. And now a cut outside the left eye. And Layla McCarter, who's an outstanding women's boxer, is going to have to go and work on that laceration outside the left eye. Use your with your head. There you see Layla McCarter. Talk about someone who does it all. Former world champion and now a cut woman. She's got her hands full right now with first round already a cut. I have a feeling it has something to do with that check hook that Bulgari has been throwing. Round number two, this one's scheduled for 10. Ray Flores, Austin, no doubt, trot here ringside at Sam's Town Live for a big night of action. Just saw Juan Hernandez pick up a victory over Stop. Kevin Watts. Let go, let go. Now they tie up. And a Sharif Bogari pumping that jab. And they want Oscar Bravo to lead in with this head. That's what they want him to do and be aggressive. Lead in with the head, huh? And that's, that's a great instruction for a headbutt. Yeah, well, I mean, just they, they want him to kind of enter with, <laughs> with the head and maybe rough up Bulgari. Well, he's trying, Stop. but Bulgari's using some, some great tactics to, to keep him at bay. Austin, I'd like to see Bulgari maybe step back half a step, mm -hmm. and as Bravo's entering, throw that right uppercut up the guard because he's coming in, leading with the head, and although that momentum is coming, that forward pressure, he's bringing it on himself. Add an uppercut onto that. I mean, look, I'm not a physicist by any stretch of the imagination. I was terrible at that. Big shot by Bulgari. Bulgari stunned Bravo, but that uppercut could jar, and the force could be compounded if he were to throw that uppercut. I mean, he did, but it was more of a There is uppercut. that uppercut, yeah, as we just it. saw. Nice, again, he did it twice. You know a thing or two about yeah, this know, sport a little bit. bit. I mean, you know, <laughs> uh, I'm not as tough as you to be able to lace up the gloves, but... Start look, training some of these kids, <laughs> man. Yeah. Watch out, but watch out. Uh, maybe that's in the future, but what I do know is what's in our media future is round number two between Bravo and Bogari and a nice Stop. chopping right hand by Oscar Bravo. Bogari just so relaxed. And that is what stands out to me is how relaxed he is. No, he was originally vet, from Uganda. Let him go, let him go. Stop! Yeah, he caught a nice little uh, hook to the chin. As, uh, Ro I'm sorry, not Robert. As Bravo was coming in. And Bogari has some nice trunks, but some blood that is from Oscar Bravo on the trunks of Bogari. And they were they were telling us in the fighter base with Bulgari, if he gets this victory, they go, they want a name at 35 or 40. They go, they'll go up to 40, uh -huh. they will stay here at 35. Doesn't matter because they say that the weight for Bulgari is 35, but they're happy to take a fighter at 140 or 35. Well, I mean, Stop! Bulgari's been putting in work for years in this boxing game and it's been relatively unknown to the mainstream boxing. I think a win tonight, he more than deserves to get that name and be in the mainstream. Final moments of round number two. They both exchange, but Bulgari has been landing the more authoritative shots. Stop! We'll come back with round number three. You're watching PBC on Bounce.
let's take a look at some of the action that we've had so far in this fight. Great overhand right that was perfectly on the chin. And that uppercut that Ray was asking for, Sharif Bogari, he gave it to him. Look, it's almost like the law of attraction. Ask, put it out in the universe, and you will get it. And that's exactly what we got Stop. when it came to that uppercut. Sharif Bogari and his adversary, Oscar Bravo, tonight, round number three. This one's scheduled for 10. My travel, Sharif. My travel. Bravo just seems to be off balance. He seems to be very heavy on his feet. Bogari moving well, jabbing well, and just has more of an arsenal and more things to his weaponry. He does, he's showing us a lot of good looks right now. And uh, Oscar Bravo is either gonna have to make the adjustments or just overpower through it. And the face is reddening of Oscar Bravo from those big shots of Bogari. And Bogari isn't even breaking a sweat yet. The check hook for Bulgari has been a great weapon. Nice body shot. Front. But I, I would like to see him hit, hit him with the uppercut after the check hook that you asked for earlier. Absolutely. I mean, it's just, it's there for the taking. I mean, you're just seeing it. It is wide open. I mean, look, Austin, I know you live in New Mexico. You have a nice truck and everything else, but you can drive a truck through that defense of Oscar Bravo. Oh, yeah. He's, his defense look at is to catch that it. shot. My goodness. Let him go. Let his head go. Bravo is wiping away his eyes because the shots are accumulating and Bulgari is hammering away on Bravo. Absolutely. I like to see more body work from, from Bulgari. You know, it seems like Oscar's okay with taking these shots in the head. He's fine with that. Yeah, well, he's just a tough customer. He said he grew up in not the nicest of areas in Santiago, Chile. He's definitely a tough customer. Both guys, I mean, as you look at Bulgari from... Uh, Kampala, Uganda. As a minute to go in round number three. That's right. Both had a you know tough upbringing. Street Bulgari says he started boxing just by fighting the kids in the street, fighting off thieves, fighting off you know whoever he had to fight off, and then finally he got into a gym. Stop. And history from there. And we're seeing a cut above the left eye of Oscar Bravo. And uh, Bogari continues to use that jab. Nice right hand oh, that found its mark for Bravo. And Bravo keeps coming forward. But that body shot, right hand, that caught the chin. Very close quarters now. This is where Bravo wants to work. That's his domain right there. And Bogari knows that, which is why he's tying him up and then moving. But this is where Bravo needs to put in that work. Bravo's got to be able to hammer away on Bogari against the ropes. As we near the end of the third round, Bulgari and Bravo. Welcome back to PBC on Bounce. Sharif Bulgari only lost. He lost, came up short to Richard Abril when he fought for the world title. That was over five years ago for the lightweight championship of the world. And also the injuries. Look at Bulgari hammering away at the back when he had that Achilles injury. You know, most people use that as an excuse to just sit down. Now Bulgari, he wanted to work. No, Bulgari's been working thus far Stop. on four. This one's scheduled no, no, for 10, no, no, still no. to come. But Darius Miller and Dev do Dennis Galarza. And right away, Russell Mora warning Oscar Bravo. He goes, you are leading with your head. And that's, Go. I mean, if he only Stop. knew what they were telling him in the corner, <laughs> they're telling him to lead in with the head. Austin, and as we look at things, the, the, the and, go. and the, the Achilles injury for Sharif Bogari, two Achilles injuries. How that difficult is that? Not one, but two. Well, first of all, the second Achilles injury first must time. have been first so time. frustrating. Stop! Seeing it just got over one. Um, so time. That, that would have been more of a mental toll. Next time you know? I tell you not to do that, and I'm going to take like, a point like from you. You understand? Saw him Don't while do he was it. injured, he was still in the bag. So he didn't take anything out of his mental. He was still ready to work. Bravo unloading on Bogari and Russell as we go ahead and the referee warned. He warned Bravo about leading in with the head. Russell Mora being a very disciplined or have been the disciplinarian and telling Bravo no more legal tactics. Bulgari is going up and down, body head, which I like to see more to the body. Again, Bravo's okay with headshots. 
I'd like to see how he takes a body shot. Well, I see that. I think that that right, I know that it's Suertalo, a Suertalo. very different punch, but a right uppercut to the solar plexus because he's leading you with the head, so the whole body is just there, open, exposed. Absolutely. As Bravo unloading and has both three against the ropes. Maybe he found something. This is where he needs to be. This is where he needs to work. Well, it's what Maidana would do, and they said that he's a Marcos Maidana. He's the Chilean Marcos Maidana, and this is what he's got to do. Throw those punches, some uppercuts there, hooks, leading with the head. I mean, Floyd Mayweather had to deal with that two times. <laughs> Listen, uh, Bravo was, had some success in that in, in that little exchange there, you know, a few seconds ago, but Sharif Bogari did not just let him pound away. He was hitting him back, you know, catching the punches. And it was a good no, exchange for both guys. Nessa. Well, it's almost like sometimes guys get tested and you see, do they have that innate fighter mentality about them? It's like what you guys say in boxing, we're going to see if the dog can come out. Mm -hmm. And Bulgari did not back down, not one iota when Bravo was pressuring him. No, and that was a nice uppercut, step around right hand with the same hand that Bulgari just, just threw. Beautiful combination. Nice left hook by Bogari, followed nice by a right left. hand to the left side of the body, and he catches him with a right hook, followed by a left. Suertalo, suertalo. Definitely a better round for Bravo. Bravo swarming Bogari. ends. What an end. We'll come back with more of PBC on Bounce. We are back here in Las Vegas. Sharif Bogarim, Oscar Bravo meeting inside the ring here at Sam's Town Live. Ray Flores Austin, no doubt, Shroud. As we are into the fifth round. Now, the last round was picked up tremendously. Bravo had some success when Bulgari's back was on the ropes and he took full advantage. But Bulgari ain't no punk. He ain't gonna just sit there and let you beat him up. Trouble. What trouble? And Austin, this is how you have the fight scored thus far through four. So far, 40 36. Bulgari last round was very close, in my opinion, but I still gave it to Sharif. Um, you know, the rounds are getting closer. Big right hand that connected as Bravo advanced forward. Another right hand that bound its mark. Nice right hand. Bogari. The Bogari is just finding and doing, connecting with those openings that Bravo gives him. That was a nice faint jab right hand that worked beautifully for Bogari. Let's see a good, good body shot from Bravo. Jab right to the midsection. Something else fighters say is like, you know the body shot hurt when he tries to hit you to the body. Absolutely. And Bravo is just absorbing a ton of punishment right now. But back he comes. His face is reddening, that left eye is still being bothersome as he wipes away the sweat and the blood. It's starting to Bravo. close up too. You see some swelling from that eye. Hands free, guys. Russell Moto wants Stop. the hands to be free. Come on, baby, let's go. Let's go. Where are we going? All right, hook. Let's No sign of slowing down from either fighter. Right hand that connected. Coming forward is one, Oscar Bravo. 50 seconds left. Bogari continues to Stop. have his way. Also, Austin, the that left eye just it looks it's getting worse and worse for Oscar Bravo. Chopping right hand by the Chilean. Nice, nice. Look at this combination. Jab coming out more fluid for Bogari. And right hand smacking off the side of the temple. Hey, he's working on that eye. It was a smart nice hook for both guys. They both clash heads Stop. now. And Russell, boy, look at him. He got in there and forcefully pushed Time. Round number six, we're halfway through of this 10 round affair. Still to come with Darius Miller and Dennis Galarza. That is our main event with PBC on Bounce. 
And Russell Mora saying he wants a clean fight, and I think that was absolutely directed towards one Oscar Bravo. <laughs> Oscar Bravo, as we mentioned earlier, has had over a year layoff. And the biggest question is why? It wasn't injury, it wasn't lack of fight, it's because he kept turning down fights that weren't good enough yeah, for him. Which is surprising because <laughs> as a Stop! fighter, you want to be active. Yeah. And it was almost like, you know, oh, that's beneath me. Well, right. I think he's starting to see that that Stop! ring rust is affecting him and it is paying dividends for Shri Bogarin. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. I'm glad Russ uh, told Oscar, you know, when I say stop, stop. That's the second time that Russ stop! said stop and Oscar's Watch your up. head. Well, now it's, it's becoming an issue because Bravo, I think, realized he has no answer for Bogari. And Bogari is just Stop! doing his way. And, and this is going to be an issue, I feel, in the second half of the fight. Now, Bogari is boxing beautifully. Uh, he's taking away all of Oscar's uh, tools, Stop! especially when inside where you think Oscar Bravo would, would flourish. But Bogari's tying him up nicely countering him nicely. Uh, you know, Bravo's got to figure out something else. Bogari with a nice right hand. Bravo comes back, but Bogari still remaining more active. Nice left uppercut, but I would hope to see some body work yes, by Sharif Bogari. So that uppercut nice you left. asked for, he hasn't stopped throwing it, right? No. Matter of fact, that was two uppercuts that he just caught Bravo with. But like you, I would like to see him go to the body a little bit more. Because this guy, Oscar Bravo, is just tough. And some guys just have strong skulls. And I believe that Oscar Bravo is one of those individuals. So the body, though, is where you take away the wind. That's right. And you have done so well of that with your jab to the body. The stab to the body is one of my favorite shots and favorite tools. And, and people don't understand it, it takes a lot out of you. And if you're Bogari, he couldn't make it an easier night because I'm sure clobbering a head that just doesn't move, I'm sure it hurts your hands to a degree. It gets, it gets you tired, too. You know, you keep hitting this guy with everything you got, and he's not going anywhere. You know, it does something to your will. Stop! And to your wind. And now they go ahead, and it is the jab that is still in the face of one Oscar Bravo. Shreve Bogari, nice right hand, they and found its mark, oh man. They both connect the right hand. Same time. We do know that Bogari has a chin as well. He does. Only lost to Richard Abril when he fought for the world title over five years ago. Damn! It's the end of the sixth. We'll come back with more PBC on Bounce. Inside the ring with the action that we've had with Shreve Bogari, who's been dominating Oscar Bravo. Austin, it looks like he's pitching a shutout. He is, and, and on my cards, whenever we get to it, you'll see. That's how I see it. Round number seven, if you're Bogari, though, a couple of body shots, and you might be able to close out Oscar Bravo. Yeah, and maybe more than a couple, because <laughs> this Oscar Bravo is tough. But so yes, he needs to focus a little more to the body, knowing a uh, good, good combination to the body from Bravo, knowing that this guy eats these headshots for breakfast. right hand to the body of Sharif Bogari. Oh, good feint with the hook on top. Nice triple hook. Bogari's smiling that. now. I can't believe it. You and I both saw it. He's enjoying himself. This guy is smiling Martin, from ear to ear. Stop! Watch your head. Uh, okay, I'm glad he said that. His head was, was planted on Bogari's temple. Get him up. Oh, nice right oh, hand. Man. Oh, my goodness. And Bravo ate it. Like I went ahead and like my little niece eats Apple Jacks in the morning. Dude, he almost looked like he enjoyed it. Like what? He just took it. <laughs> oh, good nice body Nice left shot. talk to the body by Oscar Bravo. Watch your heads, fellas. Watch your heads. So this is something Without different Cabeza, that Bravo's doing head. that is working. Without Cabeza. Let's and see if it takes its toll. Russell Mora warning about leaning up the head. Up Stop! They will separate them again. 80 seconds remaining around number seven. Now Bogri is now he's loading up. There's some body work. Okay. 
some body work out of the out of Sharif Bogari. Let's go, Gia. And it was effective. Hey, you know, it it worked. But a left hook comes upstairs. Nice stab. And we're seeing more body work, Austin. Look at that. Well, you know, I, I think it's because Bravo started using more body. And he's like, yeah, this does work. Let me yeah. try it on him. <laughs> <laughs> Let him go, let him go. Uh, they're both wrestling now. They're close quarters. Russell Mora sets them aside. No lie, those body shots early in the round from Bravo, I feel slowed Sharif Bulgaria down a bit. But now he's still in control. Is still going to the body. Still in control, but he's not as, as, as active as he was last round. We're nearing the conclusion of round nice number party. seven. Time! Here's a, here's a triple left hook from Bogueri. And then he smiles at him as he admires his work. <laughs> I admired it too, Sharif. Keep it up. Back here, PBC on bounce. Hey. Ray Flores, Austin, no doubt, Trout. Without Cabeza, without Cabeza, watch They're your head. They're saying watch out with the head. Here's our unofficial scorecard, Bulgari and Bravo. You see 70 to 63. Austin Trout, you have him ahead? Yeah, I have him ahead. It's a shutout so far, but despite of the score, these rounds are getting closer and closer as the fight goes on. Using his jab. And again, Bravo. Placed a nice body shot on the Bulgari. Right under the elbow, too. Nice shot by Shreve Bulgari. A nice right hand that connected. Doubling up on that jab. Right hand right down the center. Stop! As we are approaching 100 seconds left here in the eighth. A left hook. Him go! Stop! No! Goes no knockdown. But no knockdown. Can't push him down, okay? Get your head up. Midway point of the eighth. Good feint that got Bravo out of place and then came back up top with three Stop. straight jabs. Watch your heads, guys. Watch your heads. seconds remaining here in the eighth. Oh, nice. Two one combo. Oh, good. A shot. Right hand that may have shook it up, Sharif Bogari. Coming forward is Bogari. Bravo hammered away on Bogari. It's the best that we've seen out of Bravo in quite some time. This is Stop. the best round he's had the whole fight. Nice. Brock was really uh, taking control of this round. Well, he has been. I mean, yeah. this, I would have to even give Watch him this round. Watch your heads, guys. Without Cabeza. Watch your heads. Nice left hook that connected. Time! That ends the eighth. Round number nine. This one's scheduled for 10. Tree Bogari. I hear. And uh, Oscar Bravo. The ninth round. Still two more to go here in this matchup. And coming up, our main event. But Darius Miller and Dennis Galarza. Good uppercut. Short and strong from Bulgari. Right 
It's low. Arriba. Stop! Bravo. Stop! Barreling forward. Arriba. Corpes arriba. On one, Oscar Bravo. Nice right hand that connected. Bravo's looking to, to build on the momentum he, he caught last round. Oh. A little bit of a slip there. Bogarie with that jab. But back comes Bravo. Bravo's starting to get some confidence on He is, he is. It may Stop. be a round too late. But still, you know, ring rust is, is one heck of a drug to shake off. He's making it a contest. That's for sure. He's not allowing Bogarie to have an easy night at the office. Beautiful short uppercuts from Bulgaria. We've seen all night. And Bravo has yet to figure out a way to stop those uppercuts. Nice stab to the bottom, little filler blow. Jab right there in the midsection. Right hand that found its mark. Three points combination that Oscar Bravo said thank you for. <laughs> yeah, Bravo likes to get hit. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, he goes ahead and he's just absorbing shot after shot, but no, just out, keeps coming forward. And not just that, he keeps coming forward without making the adjustments to not get hit. It almost reminds me of a less technical version of Rusan Provodnikov. Provodnikov loved to come forward and eat eight shots. Oh, but the thing with Provodnikov is he smiled at you. He's Siberian Rocky. That's right. As Bravo looks up at the clock, under a minute left here in the night. Shot. Bravo. Woke Bulgaria up. Didn't seem to fade him too much. No, not at all. Not one iota. <laughs> now some work on the inside. Is what Bravo wants to do. Oscar Bravo. Right hand that connected. Smertalo. Saying to go ahead and let their hands go. Let them go they are. And Bogaray teeing off as is Bravo. Big right hand that's backed up. Oscar Bravo. Bogaray finding that fountain of youth and is starting to hammer away on Oscar Bravo with his back on the ropes. The body shots would set up the headshot for Bogaray. Now he's headhunting again. Go back to the Damn! That ends the ninth. As Bravo looks up at the final clock, round. final Olympia. round. Clean round. And Russell Mora says, I want a clean round. <laughs> and that's what he's been pretty much echoing in the second half of the fight. That's right. Ooh, good Big right hand, hand over that top. That connected. Shout out to Bogarie's chin. Yeah, no question. He took it like nothing. Well, he's been eating some shots, too, especially over the past few rounds. Over there, bro. Turn. Turn. Stop! To see the success that Oscar Bravo's had in the last couple of rounds, it just makes me wonder if, if he had a fight or two within this last year or over here, would it be a different story? You know, maybe he would have came on earlier and, and caught momentum. He started too late. He I mean, clearly started too late. I think the inactivity has hurt him considerably. His handlers, I don't know why they kept waiting for that big opportunity, and this is a big opportunity, but it's been his lack of activity which is affecting him. Well, it sounds to me like it wasn't his handlers, it was him. He's like, no, I don't like that guy. It's not a good enough record. Just him. like, what do you, you do? Know, take the fight, take the money, and then and go on to the next. Bogarie winding up that right hand. Wacky. Moscow Bravo with that right hand. Nice exchange for both guys. Left hook that found its mark. Right hand, a couple blistering shots there by Shri Bogari as we approach the midway mark of the 10th round. Bogari's definitely in shape. So is Bravo, but, you know, it was a nice, high, action-packed, fast-paced fight. And What's nobody seems to be slowing down. It's been a battle. Let's put it out that way. It's been a battle. It's been a war of attrition. Bogari has been getting the better of the exchanges, but Bravo has really started to come on here in this 10th round. And even in the 8th and 9th as well. Nice body attack from Bravo. Let's go, champ. Let's go. Final 50 seconds as we are under a minute remaining here in the fight. Nice combination. 
stinging shots by Juan Sharif Bogarit. Stop! See, Bogarit grabbed his leg. <laughs> nice little Bernard Hopkins move right there. Sharif Bogarit, though, should be very content and confident with what has been being displayed. No, great performance from Sharif Bogarit. A valiant effort from Oscar Bravo. The fans win tonight. By the moments of the fight. Cut! Sharif Bogari and Oscar Bravo will fight to a decision. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance, we go to the scorecards. Judges Adelaide Burton, and Dave Moretti score the contest 190. Glenn Feldman sees it 99 to 91 for your winner by unanimous decision. Sharif the Lion Bogari. And Sharif Bogari elevates his record to 32 and 1. An impressive performance here tonight, Austin.